Jesus H. Christ. I'm dying for a wee. Hurry up, Iris. You're going to be in there all night. Get up the bog, you dirty bitch. I should have thought about it before I take myself down, I suppose. Right. Now, where were we, dear? Oh, yes. Now, I want you to make it perfectly clear from the very first paragraph that my mother's been absolutely brilliant about this. She really has been wonderfully understanding. A great help to me. You just have to face it, Maud, I said to her, rather callously. You've lost your son, but you gained a daughter. Well, my dear, we pissed ourselves. We screeched with laughter. We really did. We're more like sisters, actually. We are? Oh, yes. Since the disclosure, we get along like a house on fire. We're the best of mates. We squeeze into each other's frocks. We squeeze into each other's shoes. We don't share boyfriends. Catch her. She's very camp, that mother of mine, dear. You've got to watch her. A real pickup truck. No. No, no, no. I never knew my father. He was in the Navy, of course. A ship that passed through Mum's nighty, so to speak. But I think you could see, can't you? You look like an understanding person. I I was never deprived or anything. It wasn't a sordid situation like a broken home or nothing like that. I mean, I had the best of everything. I honestly believe that God made me what I am. I was born this way, and so I've had to accept it. God knows I've had to. I don't mind. I'm an Australian homosexual, and I'm proud of the fact. We did very well at the last Olympics, my dear, let me tell you. I don't mind if people call me Puff or Queenie or any of those unfortunate names, because I realise all along I am in the very best of company. You think about it for a moment. Julius Caesar? Yes. William Shakespeare? Yes. Michelangelo? George Raft? Etc., etc. Yes, yes, yes. Skippy? That's a joke, Joyce. My dear, you're camp, aren't you? Anyway, I've been working at Lay Dames now for about, well, it must be, God, what will it be? Five years. Good, steady drag. I'm accepted by the ordinary people, you see, by the streets. It's sort of respectable now because it's been accepted in the accepted sense of the word. We bring the blokes undone, certainly. You betcha. But that's only because they've never seen anything like us before in their whole lives ever. But when the show's over and they go home afterwards, they know that with just a little extra trouble, their wives could look as good as we do. Yes. Excuse me, dear. My throat's in shreds. It really is. It's all this miming. Well, now, I'm writing to Shirley Bassey at the moment. I think she's absolutely fantastic. She really is a brilliant vocalist. I think she's stunning. I adore her. She's fabulous, fabulous. She's so dynamic, so dramatic. I just love the way she uses her hands, of course. But it's so strange, you know. Most people think that I use my hands better than Shirley does. Well, of course, my dear, I will not be drawn into petty arguments of that nature because I don't like to stab another performer in the back. I really don't. I think you know that when the washing's on the line and everything, que sera, sera, will sera, sera, and that's all there is to it, really. It doesn't matter who's top of your particular hit parade. The thing you cannot deny, absolutely, is that Shirley's got the voice. And I have the hands. I met her this last time, you know, at the Horton Pavilion. Oh, my dear, what an experience. What a fabulous opportunity for me. It was just too much, you know. Dennis Wong arranged it for me. Shirley, he said... I'd like you to meet Shirley. Well, dear, we pissed ourselves. We screeched with laughter. We really did. It was such a hoot. She's so camp at Mrs. Wong, you know. But Shirley, Shirley was fabulous. She really was fabulous, fabulous. As I expected, of course. She's so natural. Fabulous weeks. What? Yes, what? Oh, yes, how strange you should inquire. I would. I'd love to do some proper theatre eventually. Of course, I'd love to go legit. I think it would be marvellous to be in a Jesse Williamson's production. I'd give my nylons to be in the J.C. Williamson's production, as a matter of fact. I should have done the Rocky Horror Show, but they gave that to Rich Livermore, of course. Oh, yes, dear, brilliant, brilliant, absolutely brilliant, but so butch, you know, hopelessly butch. Yes, 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 my boyfriend loved him, too. The shit. What do you mean, his name? I can't tell you his name. He's a well-known solicitor. Honestly, you poll people are so indiscreet. I'll tell you this much, Polly. 
I wear drag most of the time, day and night, and I do sit down to pee. But that's all I'll tell you, if you don't mind. For heaven's sake, I'm not a freak. I'm a human being with human feelings and emotions. And if I do contemplate a course of injections or some minor cosmetic surgery, that's entirely my own business, I feel. When everything's cut and dried, I just want to be married. Well, of course, I'd like a nice husband. And of course, I would like to live in a nice home. And of course, I'd like to lead a perfectly normal life. <laughs>